playoff record for the widest margin of defeat. Seven goals. It's happened twice before to Toronto, and in both cases, they've not only come back to win the next game, but go on to win the series. OHL, now this is hockey. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to St. Mike's College School Arena in Toronto. It is game two of the Eastern Conference semifinal series between the Brampton Battalion and the Toronto St. Michael's Majors. I'm John Bartlett. Roger Lajoie off on assignment for this matchup this afternoon. And what a matchup it should be. Game one, it seemed to me maybe a little bit of a game seven hangover for Toronto coming out of the first round of the playoffs. And Brampton took advantage of it. As we mentioned off the top, Vitek Bolski with a hat trick in the hockey game as Brampton jumped out to an early lead and did not look back. However, Toronto has yet to lose on home ice here in the playoffs this season in the friendly confines of St. Mike's College School Arena. And no doubt they'll have that confidence going for them today in game two. And Brampton knows it'll be a tough task to try and get a victory here in Toronto this afternoon. Now with their thoughts on the game and a little more spotlight on the players to watch, here are the men who will call today's game in the broadcast booth, Dan Dunleavy and Jermaine Franklin. League showdown between the Toronto St. Michael's Majors and the Brampton Battalion. And there's a look at our officials this afternoon. That's right. Matt Parlett, Chris Hodgins, and Dave Pozil are going to have a, a tough task keeping this game under wraps. These teams have played six times in the regular season and now they have a playoff game under their belt so it should be a feisty one. You had a look at head coach Stan Butler of the Brampton Battalion and what a job he's done with this franchise. Had a bit of a down year last year, but it didn't take him long to build it back up. And, of course, Dave Cameron following a pretty similar mold in keeping the Toronto St. Michaels Majors from slipping in the standings after losing some key players. And now they're in round two of these playoffs, and we are underway. Of course, Battalion fans very familiar with that road green uniform as they skate right to left and right off the break it's Volsky our spotlight player takes the shot Kyoto got a piece of it and the puck goes into the corner where O'Brien is having some trouble with it behind his own net Lucas takes it through the legs backhand pass Timmy Brent takes the shot and it's off the stick of Brad Toffey where Young has it behind his own net fourth check by the majors Peralta trying to come in front short side the puck is loose and Toffey covers up have to find a way to win on the road. They can't rely on home ice in the series as they did in round number one. Rorabek tries to go outside in on Luby. Behind the net, Horvath in front, backhand shot, saved by Topping. Topping sprawled out in the blue ice, covers up. ...in this rink this afternoon. Battalion fans starting to make some noise. I think Toronto fans are just holding their breath for the first goal. There's a giveaway, Volsky in front. the shot. Back to Klein at the point. Slides it in for Brent. Klein again. Takes the shot. In front. Peralta. How did he stop that one? Oh my goodness. We are seeing a goaltending play put on by Andy Kyoto and that man, Brad Topping. I can't believe what I just saw. Two forwards on either team. Point blank range. And the goaltenders come up with a big save. But of course, you got to go top shelf. And there, wow, topping. What a beautiful sticking out the left pad. First, the keeper can't keep it in. Volsky with some pressure. Rosendahl follows up. Now McClement steps in beside Klein and gets it off of him to knock him off the puck. And now they understand exactly what Young's going to do. So they'll try carrying it in this time because it's McClement. Into the slot, takes the shot. Block saved by Andy Keanu. What a beautiful move by McClemmon. Inside, outside, cuts to the inside slot, and Kyoto was there ready for the shot, but he definitely, look at this. So Brian moving laterally to the left. McClemmon goes, all right, I'll go right. But Kyoto flashes the leather. Nice save to keep this game tied at zero. So that is the first shot on net recorded on this power play. One minute, 10 seconds left in this power play. Short side, Rohrbeck got the faceoff dot, slides it through, loose puck in front. I see yourself, you've stuck with the au naturel. Yes, uh, blonde isn't my color, my friend. Big hit behind the play by Virgil. First to the puck again, St. Mike's is. Avalanche draft pick, backhands it down low, Rohrbeck. Circles the face off dot, in the slot, Rohrbeck wide open, takes the shot, saved by Toffee. Loose puck, Rohrbeck, short side, rebound in front, and really can't jam it in. Oh, Brad Topping is stopping everything. Everything 
in sight. Horvath, beautiful positioning right in the left slot, and he just let it rip. But as he was setting up, well, look at this, topping, just coming out, cutting off the angle. He's at the top of his crease by the time Horvath lets the shot go. And then continuing, topping's just playing an outstanding game. And up over the blue line, McClement. McClement sidesteps a hit from Lehman. O'Brien brings it the other way. Big number four can skate. Game to line that is taken down. Toronto trying to keep it in. He's now Branton with three. Break out. Three on two for the battalion. Rosendahl, McClement, and Young on the far side. Majors get back, and now a chance for the Majors the other way. End to end we go. Lucas and Brent with Lehman trailing. Lucas at the faceoff shot. would break the ice for this series let alone this game and topping actually got a little bit got caught with a gamble he went for the poke check and it went right to brent he tried to poke check it again leaving himself out of position and brent made no mistake with that goal huge goal needed by st mike's back to the blue line just checked in by frank lucas o'brien behind the net for seymour tim brent lucas wide open at the point slides it back the shot. He's hooked up. He can't get to the blue line to get that puck. Kept in though. Horvath cross ice wide open. Klein shoots. Just misses the cage that time. Now Horvath with room. Turns shot off the leg. Lucas deflection in front. Horvath. They walk out it short side and topping covers up. Oh baby, this kid is hot tonight. Despite the fact his team is down one nothing. Darrell Boyce funnels up. He's taken to the boards by Kretz and now it's brought back the other way by the battalion. Starting with Chris Rowan. On the left side, Rowan gets the shot. He scores! What an effort by Chris Rowan. This game is tied at one. 8.40 to go in the second. Well, now we get a sense of how many Brampton Battalion fans are really in the building. Let's check out this replay. If there's... Oh, it was a slight deflection and... Kyoto had no chance. Once that puck gets deflected that cl in close to the goaltender, it's very hard for him to react. And it was definitely a deflection, top shelf, short side. His first of the playoffs comes at 11.20 of the second period. Jay McLennan gets in the way with Volsky and Klein. And the puck is turned over now to Majors with Klein, Peralta, and Brent the other way. Nice move by Peralta. by Peralta. Takes the outside, avoids the hit check from Young, and then calmly deposits the puck in such a tiny area. The only place he could put it on the short side, he does right over the shoulder of Topping. 13-0-1. Sniper's goal. St. Mike smells a little blood. Here's the goal. We just missed the move. You don't see Young get beat there. Stone dumps it right back in. Now the battalion putting pressure on. Down 2-1. In this second period, Frazier at the face after. Centers in front. Harrison on a save by Kyoto. Kyoto came up. What a how-to clinic on goaltending we're seeing from both young men at this rink. Kyoto in topping. Gentlemen, you're having quite a game. Here's another look. Here it is, all alone in the slot. Kyoto with a gorgeous stop. Takes it to the corner. Simmons takes Horvath into the board. Centered in front. Don't look at there. Horvath shoots. It's a ball. Topping. He gets the glove on it. In the blue ice. See if he looks behind him. Blue ice. Majors working up now. Peralta for Seymour. Seymour. Peralta picks it up. Takes that shot. Pulling short side. Just missed it. By about half an inch. Lucas shot in front. Seymour looking for the rebound. Daryl Boyce is there as well. Behind the net, Peralta. Center in front. Seymour all around. He can't get it to go behind Topping. Where he's from, going to Amherst Games as a kid.
Shot from the point, doesn't get through. Jay McClendon with a partial break. Clyde and McKeever chasing. McClendon doesn't get the shot away. He's all down, no call, but play will stop as McClendon is sliding into the net. I believe that was a good no call by Parlett as McClendon. Good closing speed by Klein to recover and takes the dive. Clement was feeling the hook from behind a little bit by McKeever, but good no call. Stan Butler doesn't think so, though. Talking with Parlett now, and Parlett's argument will be the puck was swiped clear first, and then the player went tumbling afterwards, and he watches him. They kick at it. Coming out, Adam Hendrick. Big hit, Matt Bacon stepping into Clayton, and Adam Hendrick brings the puck to center ice. Under four minutes left in the third. A 2-1 game for the Majors. Big hit, Seymour crunches, burns, and Bacon falls up. Sit into the corner. O'Brien can't move the puck. Now Boyce tries to move it away from Chris Rowan. Rowan throws it in front. Andy Keel, are you kidding me? What a save! Wow. Andy Keel is saving the day for the Majors, perhaps, with 3.18 remaining. And a 2-1 lead here in the third. That save was huge. Quick pass out front, cross ice, and Kyoto, wow. Anticipation comes right across to Burn. Simmons has it at center ice. Takes the bump from Brent. Peralta picks it off. Peralta has Brent. Takes the pass. a huge goal to put the majors up by two tim brent as i mentioned earlier it's time for the stars to step up and either tie this game up or put it out of reach now it's definitely not out of reach with less than three minutes to go but tim brent makes no mistake with it as he leaves the puck on the ice and goes five hole on topping excellent shot by brent and he knew exactly where he wanted to put it Chance now for Klein to wrap it off the board. Doesn't get it out. Simmons keeps it in. 12 seconds to go. That shot wide short side. Henrik throws it in front. And now they're able to catch up to it there with Brent Burns. Simmons steps into his man. Three seconds to go. This one's done. And at the buzzer, is it a goal? The red light goes on before the green light. So that will count. Well, I think it was think. Horvath. So some question as to whether that's a 4-1 game or a 3-1 game. I think Horvath's pointing to Tim Brent to give it to the captain. I don't know if we can listen in or not. The ref is at the box. Let's check out that replay. Well, unless we have a replay with the clock, though, it's pretty tough to tell. St. Mike celebrating in front. Let's see if they put a four up on the scoreboard. They haven't done that yet. We know St. Mike's has won the game, and the score doesn't really matter. Excellent. Except to We've got the clock here. And let's have a look. That is a goal. And it was Horvath. That... Oh, that's a goal. There yeah. you go. Nice job in the truck, Three boys. Tenths of a second. Ladies and gentlemen, Rogers Television again. OHL prime time, showing why they call it prime time. That's All right. over it. Professional Horvath giving credit with a goal. That is his 10th of the playoffs. And the St. Mike's Majors win it by a score of 4-1. We're tied at one in the best of seven. Andy Kyoto and company not celebrating yet, but they're certainly a lot happier now than they were 24 hours ago. We'll be back to wrap it up. This is OHL Primetime on Rogers Television. Scott Horvath owns the Majors record for most goals in a playoff series as he gets the additional empty netter for one the final here with their time now for a look at our three stars of this afternoon's contest and uh, really no surprise the names we'll see the third star Brad Topping another solid outing in the pipes for the Brampton Battalion here this afternoon Andy Kyoto the second star of the game and uh, obviously deserving there as you saw the play of the game and the first star of today's game Sal Peralta who nets his third goal of the playoffs it proved to be the game winner today 
as the majors take it 4-1 to tie the series up. Well, the series is not at a one as Toronto keeps their perfect record on home ice intact here in the playoffs. Now 5-0 with a 4-1 victory here in Game 2 tonight of the Eastern Conference Semifinal Series. On behalf of Dan Dunleavy, Jermaine Franklin, and all of us here at Rogers Television and Roger Lejoie as well, who will be back next game. Thanks very much for watching. I'm John Bartlett. Good night from Toronto.